Welcome everybody, this is Rod from Burn to Learn. Today we're going to show you part one of how to create an input and output table to keep track of your key business activities using Excel 2016. Please be sure to watch part two in our next video. Let's say you're in charge of a large warehouse with an inventory of hundreds of products. Instead of struggling anymore to accurately track inventory as it comes in and out all day every day, you want to see if you can save time and have precise and accurate inventory information in real time by automating the tracking process. Using tools you have already learned from earlier Burn to Learn videos, you create a table by going to the tab function and choosing insert then table. Then you check my table has headers and name your table products. You should then check to verify the range selected for the table covers A3 through 16. Now let's repeat the same process to create input and output tables. And don't forget to name each table. Now the three tables have the same format. Let's start by filling in inputs. As you can see in the next example, we have already filled in the input table to show that you received several pieces of product yesterday. We typed the product codes in the column and their descriptions appeared automatically. Then we typed the dates and the amounts and the input table was complete. And now let's show how you can do this in the output table. Type the function equal sign V lookup with an open parentheses. Select the code cell, which Excel automatically places in brackets, then type a comma. Then type the table name products with a comma, which tells Excel where to find product information. Now type the number two with a comma, which tells Excel to look for the information in column two. Now select the word false to obtain the exact details type a close parenthesis, press enter, and you've completed the process. Now let's test our table. Today someone used 400 pieces of B1001. So here's what you do. Type B1001 in the output code cell. See the description appears automatically? Now type in the date and then the amount. As you can see, this output transaction is now complete, and you can follow the same steps to record future output transactions. Now you know how to create and fill in input and output tables using Excel 2016. In part two, we will show how you can make some magic and make your input output transactions appear in real time automatically. So please be sure to watch. If you liked this video, Please remember to comment, share it, and hit the like button. And do subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. Also remember, if you can access a computer, you can burn to learn. Until the next time, goodbye, and thanks for watching.